Assalamu alaikum friends. How are you all? Alhamdulillah. My sister and I are fine. Alhamdulillah. Today, in our Islamic class, we have learned some benefits from Surah Al-Imran. Tafsir of Surah Al-Imran. There are a lot of benefits in Surah Al-Imran. I am going to tell you some of them. Point 1. Warns those who argue with no knowledge. Jews and Christians were arguing about if Prophet Ibrahim salam, was Jewish or Christian. Point 2. Allah will not speak to or look at those that break their oaths with Allah and others for worldly gains. Point 3. No prophet ever called people to worship him or to worship other than Allah, including Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Point 4. The Kaaba is the first house of worship. Subhanallah. Point 5. Only valid religion accepted by Allah is Al-Islam. So friends, today's lesson was about Surah Al-Imran. Hope you like it and share it with others. And also read Quran with Tafsir. Allah Hafiz friends, see you in great day 3. Bye Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum friends. How are you all? Alhamdulillah. My sister and I are fine. Alhamdulillah. Today, in our Islamic class, we have learned some benefits from Surah Al-Imran. Tafsir of Surah Al-Imran. There are a lot of benefits in Surah Al-Imran. I am going to tell you some of them. Point 1. Warns those who argue with no knowledge. Jews and Christians were arguing about if Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam was Jewish or Christian. Point 2. Allah will not speak to or look at those that break their oaths with Allah and others for worldly gains. Point 3. No prophet ever called people to worship him or to worship other than Allah, including Prophet Isa alayhi salam. Point 4. The Kaaba is the first house of worship. Subhanallah. Point 5. Only valid religion accepted by Allah is Al-Islam. So friends, today's lesson was about Surah Al-Imran. Hope you like it and share it with others. And also read Quran with Tafsir. Allah Hafiz friends, see you in great day 3. Bye Allah Hafiz.